Ah, the 1980s. Big hair, questionable fashion, and the Soviet Union's shining jewel, Pripyat. A utopian playground for atomic workers. Everything was pristine, everyone was happy, because they hadn't pressed the self-destruct button yet. At the heart of this atomic dream was the Chernobyl nuclear power plant, a colossal symbol of Soviet ingenuity, or, as history would later confirm, Soviet ingenuity. These aren't just pretty cooling towers, they house the infamous RBMK reactor, a marvel of engineering, if you believed in happy accidents. See, the RBMK was powerful and conveniently cheap. What's not to love? Well, at low power, it had a minor design quirk. It became about as stable as a Jenga tower in an earthquake. More heat? That meant more power. Less heat, also more power. It was like a toddler having a tantrum, but with fission. Scientists call this a positive void coefficient. We call it, oh dear. But wait, there's more. What if things went really wrong? Just hit the scram button, right? AZ-5, they called it, the big red one, like in the cartoons, except these particular control rods had graphite tips. And graphite in a reactor makes things exciting. For a few glorious, terrifying seconds, hitting off actually meant full throttle. It was the ultimate gotcha moment designed by engineers who apparently hated everyone.